Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4. We are here with a very happy, very confident looking, amazing Tate who is at the Oasis Springs Park, the Desert Bloom Park, and it is so beautiful. I mean, I'm normally one to be completely entranced with just plants, but these rocks... Uh, it reminds me of visiting Utah. It reminds me of going through like a bunch of the deserts and it is just beautiful. And we also have Pine here with us. So Pine is actually, he ran straight over and Pine wants to play on this little, this little place that, oh, look, 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 there's other kids. Who are you? It's Jose. And who are you? Oh my gosh. Acquired the motor skill. Pine can play the monkey bars and practice typing at the computer. That's so exciting. And he's also got this kid to play with. Ricky. I think I've heard about Ricky and Ahmed. There's other kids to play with. And actually that's what Pine wants to do is he wants to meet other friends. He wants to meet with a bunch of other Sims, chit chat with them. So we're going to go ahead and let him play Space Explorer. And his dad is actually here to do a little bit of fishing. Tate wants to fish for an hour and we are going to haul him all the way. I mean, look at how beautiful. I mean, seriously, look at how beautiful this is. Wow, scenery. Wow, just so pretty. Holy moly. But we are going to have Tate come all the way back here because rumor has it, if we make him haul bunny hunkers to this cave, way at the back, or this little canyon spot right here, then he should hopefully... Ooh, is that a rock? Well, we're going to make him collect this rock first. Is there any more... Are there any more rocks up here? Oh, hey, hey, it's that thing. It's the thing. We have to have handiness skill 10. I forgot that's another one of the cool, like, hidden areas that you can go to. What handiness skill is he at? He just fixed a broken toilet, but apparently he's only at level 3. So we'll have to fix that because I think that's like the lost grotto, grotto that's filled with a beautiful crystals. So we want to be seeing that soon too. But we're going to have Tate come over here. And he is going to go fishing. And he is just going to fish for a while. At this, I mean, this is a very lovely spot. What's this? Oh, a blackberry bush! So hopefully we'll stay in the area long enough for some of the plants to flourish too. Because I saw a couple lemon. Holy days. You know, I've never really come to the desert areas in the Sims games before. But wow, this is pretty. Hang on, we got to back up. I'm pretty sure, yep, I knew there were trees there. Look at this. Wow. We've been missing out, you guys. This is just, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And there's more. There's more gold over there. We can, like, dig around for gold over here. That's so awesome. But will it take do that? And I'm pretty sure I saw... What is this? Like a wild daisy shrub. What's this? Blackberry bush. Oh my gosh, can you see the sand? Look at that! That's so pretty! Wow! Wow! And there's more people over here. What are these? More bushes, chrysanthemum flowers, daisy bush, lemon trees. Oh, he just got a capsule. He's got a lot of capsules lately, actually. So we'll check on that in a minute. Uh-oh, unpleasant conversation? Oh no, Pine! He's not having a good time here with Ricky. Ricky seems to be a bit of a brat then. Tell Goofy story, join space adventure. Can we do that? He wants to meet someone new. Does that not count? He also wants to get to know his mom. Come on, Pine! Oh, this is so freaking cute. Ricky's uncomfortable. Ricky, it's not our fault you have to go to the bathroom. Seriously. There he goes. He's off to go to the bathroom, so hopefully that'll help. <gasps> A rude introduction. What is that about Francis? Francis is happy. Tate just caught a minnow. Hello, Francis. Can we meet you? Uh, oh, friendly introduction. Maybe that's what we're missing. There! Now he knows somebody. Social butterfly. Now he has met three sims. So he can just go around meeting everyone. Ooh, talk about favorite animal. That's adorable. Joke about boogers. Brighten day. Be like your daddy. Brighten someone's day. Friendly. These are so cute. Complain about parents. Get enthused about candy. Let's get to know him a little bit, too. See what these other kids are like. Oh, they're so cute playing little... Tay just caught a cow plant berry! Are you kidding me? It was that easy? Tate! Holy moly! Are you kidding me? 
Okay, we're gonna see how many he can collect. You go ahead, sir, and you keep going till you get too hungry. We're gonna stay here because your little guy wants to meet more friends. Look at the athletic skills on that kid. Jose, geez Louise. Hang on a second. We got a friendly introduce to you because, sorry, Francis, no offense. It's just that kid just did a flip on the monkey bars. His motor skills must be off the charts. We've got to go say hi. And we haven't introduced ourselves to Ahmed yet either. Oh, Jose is uncomfortable. Do you have to go to the bathroom too? All these kids are playing so long. They keep playing until they have to like pee themselves. Can you can you greet yet? Can you say hello? They're like eyeing each other up on the playground. They're like, I don't know if I want to talk to that kid yet. All right, let him go pee because I think he's gonna die. And then why don't you go ahead and play on here with the other kids? All right, come on, can you play? Can you play with the other kids? Have we met everyone? Have we met you? I don't know if we've met you. Have we met you? No, let's try friendly introduction. We've got to meet all these people. Because he's such a social bug. I can't believe we caught the, clou the cow plant berry that fast. I thought it was going to take like forever. And we were going to have to work at it for forever and a day. All right. Oh, hey, there's a new kid. Pierce. Hang on, Pierce. Uh, we're going to friendly introduce ourselves to you too. These kids are so funny, the way they just kind of like walk around each other for a little while. They're like, hey, hey, sup, sup. <gasps> Ooh, and Iris was just promoted to Canvas Creator. She will now make additional money. She has also received the following. Oh, we haven't dug out our bonuses for ages now. So she now has the painting canvas storage rack, gather inspiration from art, hire agent from phone. Interesting. Her next shift is Sunday at 9 a.m. So that's fun, and Tate's still catching some fish. I want him to see if he can catch another cow plant berry before we're too tired to stay. Chat with Pierce, there goes Francis. There goes an angry old man. Meanwhile, our little social butterfly. He wants to make a friend, aww. I wonder, who does he have the highest friendship relationship with so far? Looks like Francis. Ricky and he didn't get along very well. Are you gonna introduce yourself to Pierce yet? That like took forever. They're just walking around kind of like, hey, 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 hey. See what I mean? They're like, I don't know if I want to talk to you. Let's see, friendly introduced. <gasps> he caught another one. Holy days. We're going to have like a whole fleet of cow plants in the backyard. I'm just going to make him stay back there for a little bit. Are we ever going to say hello to this kid? It's like they're being shy. Are we done? Are we still, are we still doing this? You're wearing yourself out, little guy. There we go. He finally met. Aspiration completed. What a huge day. Pregnancy, promotions, making new friends, growing up, catching cowberries. Holy wow. Okay. Tate has wrestled with the greatest sea creatures Mother Nature could throw at him. Welcome to the status of the angling ace. Trait earned. Angler's tranquility. Fishing can cure many negative moodlets. Wow. He's done it. He's done! Like, he's finished the entire thing. I'm stunned! Go Tate! So he is now an angling ace, and we are going to reward him by actually buying one of the, the uh, fishing ponds for the yard, because I think that would be kind of fun. It's a mod I have downloaded where you can d put the, the ponds from the parks and everything into the Sims lots. And I think we will go ahead and let him have the pond, like a low level one. And then every time someone completes the angling ace in the family, they'll get that pond leveled up to the rare pond eventually. But geez, what do we pick for Tate now? The curator? What's this one? Uh, Sim wants to collect anything and everything the world has to offer from metals, crystals, and elements, and fossils to the Simsonian Museum for extra money. Freelance uh, botanist. Sim wants to grow plants and become an expert gardener. That sounds more like him. Sims that are naturalists don't need to fear fire. It won't touch them, and they can extinguish it with ease. So actually, freelance botanist sounds more like Tate, though family... Readily apparent, trusted mentor, successful lineage. I don't know. I think, I think, let's see. Your children's skills can, being, uh, by being vicarious, your children's skills gain, can contribute to your own. Wow. 
I feel like Tate would have shifted now from being an independent bachelor fisherman to wanting to see his family be successful. So big happy family. This sim wants to build a large loving household, reward trait patriarch, boost skill levels whenever they are around. Patriarchs provide skill boost whenever they are around their children. Hmm. Let's see, successful lineage, or I feel like big happy family would be more the thing, because he's more about having a big happy family rather than having a successful lineage. So yeah, I think this is the right right step in the next aspiration for Tate. And he wants to spend $1,000 on kids stuff. We just did that, but we can totally sell the things and do it again, because that would totally fit him. Wow, and he wants to harvest a plant. Okay, you keep working on that, Tate. Your son is doing this weird walk around in circles thing. We're just going to have him like introduce himself to random people. Is this a teenager? This is a cool teenager, I think. So we're going to go ahead, ignore the, the weird little kid shuffle that's going on down here. And see if Tate can catch another, another fish. Hello, little dude. He's like, oh, I don't want to talk to this kid. All right, and Pine's getting pretty tired, so we'll probably send him home soon. But let's go ahead, and who is he closest to being friends with so far? Ahmed, Francis, I think Ahmed. Talk about favorite animal, more tweets is friendly, enthused about nature. Talk about favorite animal again. Enthused about the outdoors isn't really something he can do yet. Get to know. Here, you can stop talking to that man. He really doesn't want to talk to you. Oh, and Pine is so tired. So actually, I think it's time to send Pine home in just a minute. Because he's so exhausted. It's his first day of being a child. It is a busy first day. <gasps> a little girl! Hi! Uh, Olivia! It's Olivia! Let's friendly introduce to her. Because we want to meet so many people. Yay! He's leveled up to level 2 of the social skill already. He is a busy kid. So now he's made another friend. How's Olivia? Tate just caught a violin. <laughs> not gonna question it anymore. Just not. Tate's like, I'm gonna sit down while we chat, Olivia. Is she like politely sitting down to chat as well? That's kind of cute. Oh, that's kind of cute. They're just, they're just talking. She's like, I'm so tired. Oh, she's a cutie. It looks like he's saying something mean. Her little lip is all trembly. You better be being nice. You better be being nice, Pine. Olivia is uncomfortable. Tate is, uh, or Pine is uncomfortable. So let's go ahead. We're going to send the little one home. And then Tate... I think it's time to go home. Your wife is pregnant, promoted. You have a new aspiration in life. You are also starving to death, which is totally not going to help anything. You have two cowberries freaking in your inventory now. And you just pulled up a chest. I think that's a good time. He caught another violin. <laughs> is this trying to say you want your son to be like a violinist, Tate? Is that what you're telling me here? So we're going to send him home too. All right, everyone go home. What an amazing day, though. Holy days. Made some new friends. Oh, wow, there's stuff over here, too. Ooh, nice. I hear little crickets. <gasps> so cool. Carla. Mm-hmm. So cool. What's this? Another lemon tree. So we're going to have to just send Tate here long enough for these trees to become ready. But all right, I will see you guys back at the house in just a minute. And we are back home! Oh my goodness! There's just so much stuff going on. I am so excited. Tate, go get some food. Iris for crying. Oh my gosh, Iris. Get out of that outfit, please. Change into your everyday. I am begging you. Iris is a very happy pregnant woman, though. So she usually does quite well pregnant. And she is expecting... She wants to make a friend, too. Has she met anyone? Jay Huntington the third. Oh, and Bailey! She's still friends with Bailey, isn't she? Let's give Bailey a call. Let's chat. Let's just chat with Bailey for a little while. Make sure we we'll stay friends with him. But yes, yeah, she is expecting a baby. So we're going to have to have Tate uh, question her about that. Talk about that in a little bit. Right now he's eating some cookies. 
Let's see. And he wants to kiss his wife, harvest a plant. Oh my gosh. And the plants we just got. Are you kidding? I am so excited. I think over here in between. Oh yeah. And then we got to sell the kids stuff because Tate wants to spend in his new aspiration. He, he wants to, oh wait, we already got the thing. Cool. So, uh, we've become a parent. What level aspiration? Okay. There we go. We're already zooming up in it. He wants to become a parent. He is a parent. He wants to read to a child for a total of three hours and socialize with your child for 20 times. This is the perfect aspiration for him. I am so happy about that. And Tate just brought home two, two cowberry plants. So let's scoot this over. And then I think right in the middle there. Yeah. And then we're going to go and get those out of his inventory. Mm-hmm. He brought home a lot of fish too. Lots and lots of fish. And two violins. I have no idea why, but he has uh, gotten two standard size violins that cannot be played by children. I guess that's a great find. It's worth like 800 bucks. It's better than getting a fish, honestly. And now we're going to get the plantable, strangely bovine fruit. And we're going to plant two of them. One right here. One right here. Actually, let's put them a little closer together. Can I? There we go. There you go, little guys. Let's scoot everything a little bit closer. If we can. And let's see what happens. <gasps> they're adorable. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. I mean, look at the tiny, teensy, tiny, itty bitty, itty bitty, little itty bitty cute things. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at it. Ah, there's so much going on. <laughs> but he has brought these home, so let's plant them. As soon as he's done with that cookie get these in the ground. So excited. Then Iris, are you still talking? Nope, she's gonna try to go to bed. Are you that tired? You're not that tired. Call up more of your friends. We need to make sure we keep friendships going. She's not even, is she even friends? Acquaintances, call Bailey. Make him listen to you talk about being pregnant and things like that. Who else is she almost friends with? There's Megan, there's Zoe. Natasha and I feel like Jay we should chat with Jay and be friends with him too because he looks like someone who would buy a lot of art which is what she is totally into she could get an agent now because she's been promoted all right all right Tate come over here we're gonna grow our little cowberries I'm very excited there's one. Oh, he moved there's two where to go Tate where to go Oh, it went on the other side. I was like, no! All right, let's move him out of the way for just a second. So apparently that was too close. That's okay, little ones. Oh my gosh, they need a lot of room. Okay, side by side over here. That's fine. We'll scoot everything else down to accommodate you. See, we can put like all the, the grapes and stuff in the back as a little like, see, it looks like a little vineyard, you know, grapevine. Thing going on back here. Is this a grape? Yeah. Good grapevine. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. And then let's see. Normal cow plant. This galactic marvel makes an excellent source of food, cuddles, and lifelong friendship. Become the envy of the neighborhood. Just remember to feed it. That's so cool. So it's basically like, I guess what the game is saying is that the cow plant has always been a space plant all along because that's amazing and we're gonna fertilize it with the best of the best whatever we have let's see what would something I guess the bass a perch by another name sounds nice let's fertilize both of them with bass we should have lots of bass we just brought home and we can fertilize it with salmon too so water the little ones Perry siblings take we can water the other plants later these guys are most important they come first all right normal can we fertilize you again okay you can't fertilize it right away once it's been fertilized but we'll have Tate tend to the garden a little bit he's just kind of examining things all right and he'll tend to the garden do the basic stuff everyone else is sound asleep so iris is expecting Tate has a new aspiration Lily has been promoted to astronaut pine has some new friends and he is now a child 
And so much is happening in this family. It is great. I can't wait for Pine to try out these really cool little toys and tools. For him to make a friend, we should call over like one of the new people. He can meet some random Sims back here tomorrow in the community garden while his dad like tends to things. So he can meet those Sims and then we can call someone over so he can have a new friend. And then Iris is continuing on with her pregnancy and we've almost got her aspiration almost there. We're getting it further up. Just need to put a few more of her paintings up on the wall. And so much is happening. I think tomorrow we will send Lily off to space again. See what she can bring home if she can get that last upgrade. Like I want her to get the upgrade done first. And the whole family's just doing great. All right, and now Tate is off to bed with his sister. Wrong direction, Tate. Get back down here. Now Tate is off to bed with his wife. And I will see you guys later. And we will come in and see what this awesome family's up to. I love them so much. They're just so cool.